Hi everyone. Welcome back to the CAD CAM course YouTube channel. You're watching the FreeCAD beginner tutorial series. In this beginner series, we'll model beginner-friendly 3D models. These models are carefully chosen to help you understand how to simplify complex shapes. Once you're comfortable with these beginner-level models, you'll be ready to take on more advanced challenges. By the end of series, you will be able to model the complex objects and troubleshoot common free CAD problems. Today, we're going to create this mobile phone stand using free CAD. We'll apply everything we've learned so far from sketching to constraints, fillets, pockets, and more to make a fully functional 3D printable model. I chose this design because it covers all the basics we've seen in earlier videos. And out of all the phone stand models out there, this one's really popular because it includes a slot for the charging cable and port. This means you can lift your phone directly off the stand while it's charging. No need to unplug it first. If you've been following my previous videos, you already know our approach. We always start by breaking down complex solids into simple, manageable steps. In this tutorial, we'll do the same. I've simplified the model into basic shapes that we'll build one by one and gradually combine them into the full design. To make things even easier, I've created a step-by-step -step sketch guide that you can follow. There's a PDF version of this process available. I'll leave a link to it in the description if you'd like to download it and follow along. Now, before we move ahead, I encourage you to pause the video right here and try modeling this part on your own, using everything you've learned so far. Don't worry, if you get stuck, you can always come back and follow along with me, step by step. All right, pause now and give it a shot. All right, let's begin with step one. In FreeCAD, switch to the Part Design Workbench. Now click on Create New Sketch. FreeCAD will ask you to choose a sketch plane. Go ahead and select the front plane, which is also called the uh, XZ plane. Next, we'll draw the rough profile of the mobile stand. Grab the polyline tool and begin sketching the outline. Don't worry about getting the dimensions or angles perfect just yet. Just get the shape down roughly. Once you're done, right-click to cancel the polyline tool. Now we'll constrain the sketch using dimensions. Grab the dimension tool. First, select the baseline and set it to uh, 85 millimeters. Then select this inclined line and set its inclined length, not vertical, to 100 millimeters. This next line, 65 millimeters. The one after that, 20 millimeters and the last short one, six millimeters. Now let's input the angles. Select the two lines here and set the angle to 72 degrees. Then for the next pair, set it to 44 degrees. We also have two pairs of lines that are perpendicular. You can either set the angle to 90 degrees or use the perpendicular constraint. To do that, hold control select both lines, and then click the Constrain Perpendicular button. Repeat the same for the other pair. The entire sketch has turned green. That means it's fully constrained, and we're ready for the next step. All right, moving on to the next step. In this part, we'll add uniform three millimeter fillets to the four sharp corners of our sketch. Back in FreeCAD, grab the Create Fillet tool. Now click on each of the four corner points you can either select the corner directly or uh, choose the two lines forming the corner. Once you've added the fillets, right click to cancel the tool. Now let's make sure all the fillets are of equal size. Hold control and select all four fillet arcs. Zoom in if needed to select them properly. Then click on the uh, Equal Constraint button. This tells FreeCAD to keep all four fillets the same size. Now grab the Dimension tool, pick any one of the fillets, and set its radius to uh, three millimeters. And just like that, all corners now have a three millimeter fillet. But you might notice something important here. The sketch has turned back from green to black, which means it's under constrained again. 
If you try to move the sketch, it's not fixed anymore. Let's fix that. What happened is when we added the fillets, the angle constraints at those corners got deleted. So we'll add them back, grab the dimension tool again, select the lines that originally had the uh, 44 degree angle and apply that angle again. Then do the same for the pair that had the uh, 72 degree angle. Once you've done that, the sketch turns green again. Perfect. That means it's fully constrained and we're ready for the next operation. Now, let's move on to the next step. The sketch we just created represents the center line of the mobile stand's side profile. To give it actual thickness, we'll need to offset this profile on both sides so that the total thickness becomes three millimeters. But first, we don't want to extrude the center line directly, so we'll turn it into construction geometry. Back in FreeCAD, drag to select the entire sketch, then right-click and choose Toggle Construction Geometry. You'll see that the lines turn dashed blue, meaning they're now for reference only and won't affect further operations. Now drag to select the whole sketch again, and click on the Offset Geometry tool. In the Offset parameters, make sure Add Offset Constraint is checked. Then enter the offset distance as uh, 1.5 millimeters because we want a total thickness of three millimeters and this will create an equal offset on both sides. Notice that the sketch is still fully constrained. That's because we applied the offset as a constraint. Perfect. Now look at the ends of the profile. You'll see that the offset created rounded arcs at both ends. But for this design, we need flat ends instead. So let's fix that. Grab the line tool and draw straight lines to connect the open points on both ends of the profile. At this point, you might be tempted to delete the arcs, but don't do that just yet. Let's try it and see what happens. If you delete those arcs, you'll notice the sketch now shows 12 degrees of freedom. That means it has become under constrained. Not good. Let's undo that. Instead of deleting the arcs, we'll just deactivate them by turning them into construction geometry. Right click on each arc and select toggle construction geometry. Nice, now the arcs are still there, but won't interfere with the solid model. And look at that, the sketch is still fully constrained. Perfect. The side profile is now complete and ready for extrusion. Now let's turn this sketch into a 3D solid. First, go ahead and close the sketch by clicking the close button. Now with the sketch still selected, click on the pad tool. This will extrude the sketch into a solid body. In the pad parameters on the left, check the option symmetric to plane. This makes sure the sketch gets extruded evenly on both sides of the XE plane, keeping everything nice and centered. Now set the pad length to 65 millimeters. Hit OK. We've got the basic 3D shape of our mobile phone stand. Next, we'll move on to adding some details like the charging slot and other cutouts to make it functional and ready for 3D printing. Now let's add the slot for the charging cable to pass through. This slot is 8 millimeters wide and 30 millimeters above the base. So back in FreeCAD, go ahead and click Create New Sketch. And this time, select the side plane. That's the uh, YZ plane. Now, rotate your view so you're facing that side directly. We'll draw the slot on this plane. Grab the slot tool, start from the top along the vertical axis, and drag downward to create a vertical slot shape. Next, grab the dimension tool and set the width of the slot to uh, 8 millimeters. Now, the bottom of the slot should be uh, 30 millimeters above the base, but since that baseline belongs to a different sketch, it won't be visible by default. So let's bring it into the current sketch. Click the external geometry tool and select the bottom edge of the solid. It will show up as a dashed purple line. Now use the dimension tool 
to measure from the baseline to the bottom of the slot and enter 30 millimeters. For the top of the slot, it just needs to extend past the top of the body. So we'll just give it a bigger value like 100 millimeters to make sure it clears everything. At this point, the sketch is still under constrained. If you try to move it, it still wiggles. To fix that, we need to center the slot, hold control, select the center point of the slot and the vertical axis, then click the coincident constraint. And just like that, the sketch turns green, which means it's fully constrained. Now let's cut the slot. Close the sketch and click on the pocket tool. In the pocket parameters, change the type to through all. If the slot doesn't show up, check the reversed box. The slot cuts clean through the body. Click OK, and we're done with this step. Next, let's add a rectangular hole to the front portion of the stand. This hole acts as a uh, charging port provision, so you can use it with any size or shape of charging cable. The hole is uh, 25 millimeters wide and 20 millimeters high. All right, back in FreeCAD, rotate the model and find this front face, the one that slopes back slightly. Now select that face and click Create New Sketch. FreeCAD might not show you the sketch clearly, so let's make things easier. Click the uh, View Section tool to slice the model up to the current sketch plane. This gives you a, a clean look at where we're sketching. The rectangle we're about to draw needs to be aligned with the base of this front section. So first, grab the External Geometry tool and select the two base edges. You'll see them turn into purple dashed lines. Next, grab the center rectangle tool, click right on the vertical axis just above the baseline, and drag out a rough rectangle aligned to those external geometry lines. Now, grab the dimension tool and add the size width 25 millimeters, height 20 millimeters. Great. Let's add a small fillet to smooth out the top two corners of this rectangle. Click the fillet tool and apply it to the top left and top right corners. Then hold control, select both fillets, and hit the equal constraint to make the radii equal. Now grab the dimension tool again and set the radius of one fillet to three millimeters. And that completes the sketch. Go ahead and close the sketch. Then select the pocket tool. In the pocket parameters, change the type to through all and click OK. And there you have it, a clean rectangular cutout in the front for the charging port. Now let's finish the model by rounding off the sharp corners. This will give our stand a smooth and clean look, just like a real polished product. First, grab the fillet tool and set the radius to uh, three millimeters. Click select and pick the sharper corner edges where the stand bends. Once selected, click OK. Now again, grab the fillet tool, but this time change the radius to five millimeters. Click select and choose these outer corner edges. These help with smoother transitions around the stand. Once done, click OK. All right. Next, we'll soften the main visible edges for a more refined finish. So open the fillet tool again, and this time set the radius to 0.5 millimeters. Click Select and choose all the thin visible edges and click OK. Hmm. On second thought, let's make that a little smoother. So instead of 
0 0.5, change the radius to 1 millimeter. That's better. Now the stand has a nice smooth finish, perfect for handling and display. And that's it. The mobile phone stand model is now complete. You can now export it as an STL or step file, send it to your 3D printer, and bring your free CAD model into the real world. Thanks for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon so you never miss a new lesson. See you in the next tutorial.